All right, good evening, good evening everyone. We are here once more. It is Sunday, and if it's Sunday and it's 5 p.m., it is time for Royalty Pools International as we bring you the program Easy Swimming Pool Answers. I'm your host, Kenton, and I am glad that you are here today. Glad as we dive, as we dive into the world of swimming pools today, we have a pack program so you can't afford to miss it. Um, invite someone, invite a friend, share the link, tell them we are on. This is the time, this is the moment when you get to ask all of your swimming pool questions. And we seek to provide you with the answers. Today, we're going to be having a pack program for those of you who have dogs and you love your animals. Today, as we go deeper into the program, we are going to be sharing some very interesting pointers you can look out for being that you have a pool and you have a dog. Things you can do to make life easier make life safer, make life more enjoyable for both you, your, yourself, and your beloved animal. So at this moment, we're going to go straight into our program today as we come right back. So, it's time for our help tip, our help feature. Um, did you know, you know, swimming is a wonderful thing. Did you know that in one hour, swimming burns about 40% more calories than biking? So, swimming burns a lot of calories, all right? So, it is healthy, it is good to swim. Also, did you know that swimming burns about 30% more calories than running per hour? So, swimming is a healthy sport, is a healthy thing, and there are lots of health benefits when one is engaged in swimming. Did you know that swimming strengthens the heart and the lungs? All right? So swimming is a fantastic um, sport. It's a fantastic pastime. For those of you who have your pool at home, and I know sometimes you are so busy. Sometimes you are so busy from work to the house, from the house back to work, that you never even swim in that pool for an entire year. I have met clients who tell me that they have a swimming pool and they have not been in there for an entire year. Well, if you have a pool, just be know that it is a healthy way to keep your body fit. Did you know swimming lowers stress and depression? So in case you haven't swum in there, you know, right now there's so much in the air with this whole COVID thing and I mean, your friends are dying. There's so much bad news around. Um, swimming can reduce stress and also depression. And here, one more again. It says, and for those of you who have salt water pools, head is head is swimming in salt water can detoxify the skin and promote new cell growth so swimming is healthy get involved and begin swimming today we'll be right back all right so we are back we are back it is time for your pool news so today we have two new features, a health feature, 
And second now is our news feature. Now, if you are a homeowner, if you are a maintenance um, service provider, if you own a resort, um, you will know, or if you own a retail outlet or you are a distributor, you will know that it has been very, very difficult to get um, trichlor tabs. It has been extremely difficult to get chlorine um, for the past year. All right. Now you may ask yourself, why is this? Why cannot, why we cannot get chlorine tabs? Or why is there a shortage? Well, guess what? The reason is a facility that produced trichlor tablets of Biolab was incapacitated by a fire, leaving a severe shortage of the most popular form of chlorine use. Yes, folks, one of the factories um, was caught on fire, and as a result, we are in a severe shortage for trichlor tabs. As a result, this has placed tremendous pressure on pool service companies who depend on trichlor tablets as their main source of sanitizer. Switching over to Cal Hypo comes with its own set of challenges. So if you are accustomed to using trichlor tabs, and now because there is none available on the shelves, and literally none available on the shelves, and you have to switch to Cal Hypo granules, that in itself comes with its own challenges. Cal Hypo, my friends, can be more volatile and can have a dangerous reaction if exposed to trichlor. As a result, do not store Cal Hypo in containers that once had trichlor. So this is very important. Um, you know, sometimes we have those trichlor buckets and we hold them um, um, for storage. But here we are told, do not put Carl Hypo granules in trichlor buckets. Even though the bucket appears to be very, very clean, if there is any trace elements of Carl Hypo, you can have a volatile, explosive reaction. So you got to be careful. Cal Hypo can also cl cause cloudiness if the pH and the alkalinity are not properly balanced. All right. So right now you cannot get trichlor tabs. And um, it is scarce because a fire gutted one of the facilities in the U.S. last year, August. And for those of you who are now switching over to purely Carl Hypo, please note that you got to be, one, cautious of the safety measures, and two, ensure, your chlorine, ensure that your chemicals are balanced because it can lead to cloudiness. Now, the question is, is there any hope in sight? Is there any hope in sight? Well, guess what? There is. Biolabs broke ground in late June and they expect that the 170 million upgrade to the facility will soon bring relief. And they are aiming for a spring 2022 opening of the facility. So hopefully... Come next year, um, by spring, we should be getting a relief. And spring, we know, is around um, April time. So we are hoping next year that when spring comes around and this facility is, is back into operation, um, we will see a reduction in this um, scarcity of trichlor. I mean, after we have COVID, which has caused pressure on raw materials, now, last year, we had this fire, 
which only further compound issues. So if you're wondering what in the world is happening, why is there no triclo tabs around, or why is it such in scarce demand? It is because there was a fire. And by the way, let me say that we do have currently a few tabs in stock. So if you want some, um, you can please call us. And we will... But right now, we're actually rationing what we have. <laughs> it's that bad. We have to ration what we have, all right? So this is it for our pool news for today, Sunday, October the 3rd. We're moving on, folks. We're moving on. This is what people think working with animals is like. This is what working with animals is actually like. You're responsible for keeping these critters healthy and safe, so you need to keep their pens and kennels clean. And the more dogs you have, the more important sanitation is. And the more time you spend scooping, mixing, scrubbing, mopping, rinsing. Luckily, there's another way. Stop mopping and start spraying. WYSIWASH is the fastest way to sanitize large areas and the easiest. Using patented dispensing technology, WYSIWASH delivers a tested and proven sanitizing solution that's non-irritating and no rinse. Simply insert a caplet, attach WYSIWASH to a hose, spray, and drain after each use. Each caplet can be used again and again, lasting up to three and a half hours. In tests, WYSIWASH is effective against parvovirus, giardia, feline herpes virus, feline calissa virus, feline panleukopenia, and many more. So you can be confident that your animals will stay healthy. Plus, it's a powerful deodorizer, so your kennel will smell fresher than ever. New customers say that after they switch to WYSIWASH, people notice. Shelters tell us that potential adopters come back more often because the facility smells clean and well kept. Doggy daycares and boarding kennels say that clean smell inspires confidence and trust. Aside from saving time, most new WYSIWASH customers report saving 50% or more on materials after switching to WYSIWASH. This frees up money for enrichment programs, staff training, and other vital programs that save animals. Try WYSIWASH with confidence. If it doesn't make your cleaning protocols easier, send it back within 30 days. So switch to WYSIWASH and get more time to play. Yes, folks, and we are back once more. And today, our main, for our main feature, we are going to be focusing on pool and puppies. A while ago, we showed you a video, a video on a product called Wishy Wash. Um, it's an excellent way to clean your... Um, Dog kennels is an excellent way to sanitize the area. It's an excellent way to keep the, the place clean from bacteria. It kills a number of bacteria that can affect your canine friend. Today, we want to look at pool and puppies. And I came across an article by Anna McCabe, September 2019, entitled... How to Guide New Dog Owners. And she shared the following tips. So for those of you who have a swimming pool and you have just acquired a, a dog or you have just, or you had a dog already, today we want to share with you some tips um, that can make life much more satisfactory for both you and the dog and your pool. So first tip number one is to know your breed, all right? You must know what breed of dogs you have, all right? Some dogs, such as, re as retrievers or poodles, make for excellent swimmers. You hear this? Retrievers in particular can leave behind a lot of hair, which can cause problems for your filter. And from my experience, from your pump basket. If you have these breeds, please check your skimmers more often. 
All right, so tip number one, that you must know what type of breed of dog you have. Why? Because it's very important as we go along, we'll see. All right. For some of these breeds, they are very good at swimming, such as your... Okay, so such as we saw that we, we have a few dogs, the Poodle. The Poodle is one of those dogs that is good at swimming. And we will go to our next slide, which shows you some of those dogs which are good in swimming. Here we go. So the Poodle is a strong swimmer. All right. Newfoundland is also another strong swimmer. You have also the Chesapeake Bay Retriever. Isn't he cute? It's also a strong swimmer. You have the English Setter. Another strong swimmer. The Irish Water Spaniel. This too is very strong in swimming. And you can see he has a lot of hair, right? So some dogs... Um, they have a lot of hair and sometimes they can shred a lot of hair and this hair goes into your filter um, it goes into your pump basket um, and it can cause problems so if you have a dog that has a lot of hair remember to always check your skimmers often to remove the excess hair in the skimmers also we have the iris setter another strong swimmer as well we have the Portuguese water dog. He is a strong swimmer as well. We have the Labrador Retriever, another strong swimmer. We have the Golden Retriever and the Nova Scotia Dog Tolling Retriever. These are all strong swimmers when it comes to dogs. Now, so we just, we just saw a few strong swimmers. But there are also some dogs which are water averse, such as the pug and the corgi or bulldog. So please note, these dogs are not strong swimmers. So let's look at some of those which are not strong swimmers. Alright. So let's just go back from the beginning. Alright, so the bulldog is not a strong swimmer, unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah, one is his lap jacket there. Um, you have the pug also. Okay, and the Dachshund as well. The Maltese, he's not a very strong guy in swimming. The Basset Hong, he too is not a strong swimmer. The Chow Chow, not a strong swimmer. The Corgi, he's cute, but he can strong he can swim that strong. The boxer. The staff, the Staffordshire Bull Terror. And you have the she, well, T-Z-U. I'm not going to bite my tongue on this one, all right? So these dogs, they are not very strong swimmers. And so it would be a good idea to take extra strips, steps to protect your pooch by investing in a dog life jacket or by learning canine CPR. So if you have a dog, and you can do your research for yourself, you know your, you know your um, dog breed, you can go online and see if he's a good swimmer or a weak swimmer. And, but one thing regardless, um, you must know, you, you should know canine CPR. <laughs> and uh, for those dogs which cannot swim so well, um, it's a good idea to invest in a life jacket for your dog, okay? Also, what about training? Training, okay? So, you have a pool, and then you went out and you bought a dog. Um, what are things you can do to train this new dog, all right? The first skill is to teach any dog, even a natural swimmer, is how to get in and out of the pool. Remember, this is a new foreign environment. 
for the dog. And he needs to know the exit. All right? The, the exit of the water on his own if necessary. Because imagine if you're not there, he falls inside. The dog must know where he must go to the nearest exit if he wants to get out. So they say, the, the advice is, carry the dog into the water and help him doggy paddle over to the nearest exit and repeat this process until the dog is comfortable on his own. With each repetition, move further away from the exit. So you bring him into the water, you allow, you allow him to, to paddle over to the exit, and you repeat the process over and over again. And with each process you repeat, you move further and further away from the exit. All right? So it's important to train your dog to know how to exit the pool if needs be. All right? What about pool chemicals? Um, the, pool, the pool chemicals, this, this dog is not a strong swimmer. So like him here, you will need to show him how to get in and how to get out safely. All right? What about pool chemicals? Do pool chemicals have an effect on your dogs? The answer is, generally, chlorinated pool water is fine for dogs to drink. <laughs> you see, the chlorine is heavily diluted already in the pool, and generally not enough to cause a dog more than maybe a slight tummy ache. All right? However, you want to make sure that your chlorine tabs, your chlorine, your calhypo, your acids, that they are all safely packed away from both the dog and your children. All right? Now, chlorine can irritate some people and animals if they have sensitive skin or eyes. I, I, I do have clients, um, and chlorine tend to irritate um, their skin. All right? And so they may want to get a more friendlier form of sanitation. All right. So it's important. It's important to always rinse off your dogs with fresh water after a swim. And also to keep an eye out for signs of skin irritation. If this is a concern for you, you may need to consider going to a less harsh sanitizer, all right, such as an ionizer, example. Also, look for air infections after a swim. Um, while this isn't totally um, linked to um, pool chemicals, it's a common problem for dogs who spend time in the pool. Water can get into the air canals, which can lead to bacteria, growth, and infections. Dog owners whose pets swim a lot should regularly clean their dog's ears with a cleanser and do their best to keep your dog ears dry after they have taken a dip in the pool. All right? So these are, these are a few tips one can practice for your for, for what? For man's best friend. <laughs> All right? So both you and the dogs can enjoy the pool safely. All right? So those were some of the dogs, again, that are strong swimmers. And that's one of them. All right? So we're moving on. All right, so we are back. We are back once more. We are back as we look at the pool of the day. We are going to look at, at our pool of the day. And this pool that you're currently looking, we're going to go right back to the first slide. All right, first slide. So this pool, 
This pool, the design consultant on this pool was Kurt Collier, all right? He is the designer of this pool. And the landscape architect was Shannon Devonport. I mean, that pool looks immaculate. It looks fantastic. Um, the construction supervisor is Terry Shake. And a technical supervisor for this pool was Maria Hernandez. All right. By the way, the, the designer of this pool is Tana Ross. Tana Ross of Tana Ross Design, Houston, Texas. All right. So this pool is a masterful pool, immaculately done. Now, the owners of this property wanted to merge the rustic with the clean line in the ever more popular modern farm house style. So therefore, we have a clean geometric outline with a vanishing edge back wall and dark tone perimeter overflow spa supply the modern portion. So you have the spa. So you have the spa. You can see the spa right here. And, and, and you can see that this is indeed a vanishing edge as the water overflows over into the vanishing edge. All right. Here you can see a cross section of the vanishing edge. <clears throat> also, you can see this pool also has fire pits. Um, the fire pits features a 10 foot long fire strip to accommodate plenty of people. All right, so a wonderful pool. Here we can see that this pool also has in some lounge chairs along with some bubblers. All right, water bubblers. Fantastic, fantastic. And also you can see that there is also a water feature fountain coming out of the, the roof as well. Here we can see a better view of this so this is our pool of the day this is our pool of the day all right this is a keeps up pools and tana ross design and they actually won a masters of design for 2021 for this particular pool all right this pool is in san antonio texas i mean this 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 is a dream pool <laughs> This, this is a dream um, this is a dream pool all right hey hey I mean hey you can see um, fireballs infinity edge spa and I love how the spa just comes out nicely and flows into this pool so this my friends was our pool for the day all right this is a wonderful 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 piece of design and so we have to say and we oh yeah oh yeah hi hi Sherwin yeah that's just a pool man and the house by itself the house is in the back so I mean don't forget the whole idea of um pools these days um it's really and truly about the outdoors uh, when you have a pool you want to be on the, in the, on the outdoors. You you want to be on the outside. You want to be able to um, enjoy your pool all year round. That's the house, and and so they blended this pool with the landscape that they have, and you can see it's a perfect um, symmetry. Um, everything is well thought of. The design is key. Um, I love how they have the the shallow area for those lunch chairs, it just blends in perfectly. Um, I love how that spa, that spa just kind of just looks over the main pool and the main pool now still has an infinity edge but flows over. Um, this is just a wonderful piece of design, folks. This is a marvelous design. All right. So this designer is Tana Ross um, and I think he designed a wonderful pool I'm here. And the construction supervisor was Terry Shake. 
Oh yeah, oh yeah. The pool, the pool itself um, run, runs along um, the house, um, and and this is just a massive. Um, there's, there's, I think the first photo gives you a, a bird's eye view of what is it we are speaking about. Um, if you look, if you look closely to your to your right. Um, behind the, the hut, you can see some of the pool equipment right there. Uh, but, but, but just look at this. And also, you also notice that there's actually a, a swim up, a swim up stools as well. And notice where the lights are placed in this pool. All right? The lights, my friends, that the lights are all facing, if you look at the spa and the pool, the spa has one light um, in it, and it is facing towards um, the lake. And also you have the three other lights in the pool, which is also facing to the lake. So when you are building a pool, you do not want your lights to be facing onto the house. So you always want your lights to be facing away from the house. All right. So we want to thank... We want to thank um, we want to thank um, Tanner Ross for this design, and and, and we want to thank um, Terry Schick, who was the construction supervisor, and you have Kurt Collier who was the design consultant on this project. Um, this is just a beautiful piece of equipment. We can, we can just go through it again once more. The house itself. Um, fits nicely with the pool, I must say. Absolutely. Absolutely gorgeous. So this is our pool of the day from San Antonio, Texas. Um, next, week we'll, next week we'll feature another pool, another wonderful design. Um, the, 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 the thing is, there is just so much one can do with the pool. There are so much features you can add. Um, I mean, just, just okay. Let's let's look back into the bird's eye view of this pool. Slide number one. Notice we have several features in this pool. You have bubblers, all right, and it creates a nice effect. You can add you can, you can add also different lights to your bubblers as well. Um, so you have bubblers in in this pool. Um, you have the spa, and I like how they use the the, the darkness of the spa to blend in with, with with the tiles as well. You have fire pits, um, you have lounge chairs, uh, you have an infinity edge. There are also lights also in infinity edge as well, and you also have two fire pits, two fire bowls actually fire bowls along with your deck chairs so it's a wonderful design all right so folks this was our pool of the day and remember um, in 2021 and beyond there is so much features you can add to a pool uh, there's so much equipment you can add you can you can automate everything everything can be automated these days you can automate your pool so that before you even leave your office, you turn on your heater, you turn on your pump, you turn on your lights. Um, you name it. You, you can be um, across the world or, or in a land on, on in Australia and you can control your pool from the palms of your hands. All right. So one of these days, we will do a show only on automation and we will see the beauty of automation. Um, when it comes to your swimming pool. So, so this, folks, was our pool of the day. Pool of the day. So at this time, we want to go back again to our Wish You Wash. Uh, we want to go back again to our Wish You Wash product. Uh, and we'll be right back. This is what people think working with animals is like. This is what working with animals is actually like. 
You're responsible for keeping these critters healthy and safe, so you need to keep their pens and kennels clean. And the more dogs you have, the more important sanitation is. And the more time you spend scooping, mixing, scrubbing, mopping, rinsing. Luckily, there's another way. Stop mopping and start spraying. WYSIWASH is the fastest way to sanitize large areas and the easiest. Using patented dispensing technology, WYSIWASH delivers a tested and proven sanitizing solution that's non-irritating and no rinse. Simply insert a caplet, attach WYSIWASH to a hose, spray, and drain after each use. Each caplet can be used again and again, lasting up to three and a half hours. In tests, WYSIWASH is effective against parvovirus, giardia, feline herpes virus, feline calissa virus, feline panleukopenia, and many more. So you can be confident that your animals will stay healthy. Plus, it's a powerful deodorizer, so your kennel will smell fresher than ever. New customers say that after they switch to WYSIWASH, people notice. Shelters tell us that potential adopters come back more often because the facility smells clean and well-kept. Doggy daycares and boarding kennels say that clean smell inspires confidence and trust. Aside from saving time, most new WYSIWASH customers report saving 50% or more on materials after switching to WYSIWASH. This frees up money for enrichment programs, staff training, and other vital programs that save animals. Try WYSIWASH with confidence. If it doesn't make your cleaning protocols easier, send it back within 30 days. So switch to WYSIWASH and get more time to play. So we are back once more. That was the WYSIWASH product. Um, a safe, effective way to sanitize your dog area. And a safe, a safe way to um, wash down your, your, your areas. And apart from dogs, actually WYSIWASH is also used... Um, in many other environments, it is used in restaurant environments to wash down the areas. It can be used on your pool deck to wash down furniture. Um, and it is a highly effective product to kill against bacteria and viruses. So, so the Wishy Wash is a product that, um, you know, it, and again, it's, it's, it's simple to use. And the capsule, the capsule lasts three hours and um, highly effective product, safe, nice smell, great results by using the Wishy Wash. And we do have Wishy Wash available in the event you're looking for some of this product. All right. So today, at this moment, if you have any questions, um, please feel free to send your questions in. Um, ask us about anything about today's presentation or you can always um, feel free to shout us out and give us a call at 484-2022. All right. We are here to answer your questions. And we are here also to supply all of your swimming pool needs. I want to thank you today for being part of the, of the, of the program. Next Sunday, we are back again with another program. Um, every Sunday from 5 p.m., we are going to be live, live as we share with you health tips, news about swimming pool. We are going to be sharing with you products, information, and we are going to be showing you our pool of the day. I mean, the pool the pool today was just marvelous. That was a wonderful looking pool. So, please sh spread the news. Start sharing the news, all right? Let your friends know that if it's Sunday, we are on at 5 p.m. And this is your live. This is your very, very live program whereby we go into swimming pool and swimming pool related matters. Hello, Mac. Thanks for coming on. Akuna Matata. All right. So, folks, wherever you are, keep enjoying your Sunday. Keep. Um, being safe and share the news. Tell your friend. If it's Sunday, we are on and we are sharing the latest news in the swimming pool industry. All right. So until then, I am Kenton, Kenton Augustine. Peace 
I'm out.